Hello, people of the internet. My name is Adam. I'm the founder of Paid Members App, and this video is how to embed Stripe payment links on your Wix website to take an ideal payment. A little bit of background is Stripe Checkout historically was a lot of code, and they created a new product called Stripe Payment Links, which replaces all the code with a really simple link. It works great on Wix websites. Let me show you an example. So I have a button, and I have an image, and I have some text here on a Wix website. And if I click buy now, it's just linked to a Stripe payment link and it opens up Stripe checkout. And you can see there are some options here. You can pay with credit card or you can pay with ideal. And very similarly, uh, we have a little image here, the uh, ideal image. And if I click on that, similarly, it, it's linked to Stripe checkout. And that opens up um, Stripe checkout with credit card as a payment method and ideal. Okay, and then here I have some text where I just basically did the same thing, just linked it with a Stripe payment link, so you can do whatever you prefer, and when your customer clicks on that, again, it opens Stripe checkout with a with credit card as an option or ideal as a payment option. Okay, and then there's some fancier things you can do with Paid Members app. I'll go over just how to create Stripe payment links in your standard Stripe account and also how to do more advanced things using Paid Members app. We'll just do a basic video here and I'll have another video for like super advanced things, but just as one demonstration, when I click here, Pay with Ideal, this only uh, allows Ideal. So using Paid Members app, because we're using the Stripe API, we can do fancy things like making it so you can't even take credit cards. If you want to make an, a link that's Ideal only, you can do that with our app. You can't do that in your standard Stripe account. Uh, we do a lot of fancy things for you. That is one of them. So let me show you how you do this. Okay, so I'm on my Wix website. I will just delete all this and show you from the start. So the first thing to do is to Google Stripe and go to stripe.com. And you want to create a free Stripe account. Um, it used to be very hard to set up a payment processor. Stripe made this really easy. And you need your standard Stripe account. This is because Wix is sort of built on top of Stripe. So they have their own shopping cart. But sometimes you'll have limitations with the Wix shopping cart, like customers can't pay easily with Ideal. So that's why you can just process directly with a Stripe payment link through your Stripe account and all the payments and credit cards and every all the information, in this case, not credit card, but all the customer information will be stored in your standard Stripe account. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into, uh, log into your own Stripe account. I'm in test mode, so Stripe has a live mode and a test mode. And so the first thing you wanna do is in search, I would look for payment methods. And Stripe moves their UI around a lot, so I think it's good to just search for it and then whatever they've done, the new changes, you'll go there. And just make sure you have uh, Ideal turned on as a payment method. So you cannot turn cards off in Stripe. That's something we added special in our app that you can do. So cards are on automatically, but check what else is on or off. And so just make sure that Ideal is on. Um, it does say webhooks recommended. This is because it is a delayed payment notification. So if you had membership or are unlocking content that people pay for and you don't want them to get access to it until it's paid, uh, Stripe will send a notification that the payment went through. So that's a more advanced topic. And we, our app, paid members app, will listen for those webhooks, which are notifications from Stripe. But if you're just doing a simple uh, payment, you can check for that yourself. And also make sure that this is turned on live mode. So click this and toggle to live mode and make sure that ideal is also turned in live mode. So live mode is when you're creating live payment buttons to take live payments and test mode is what you do first to just make sure the flow works um, perfectly before you go into live mode. Okay, so let's see. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna have to have a product and for ideal it has to be a product that's in Euro currency. And so I have a product right here. If you don't have a product, you can add a product. And the structure of Stripe is now that a product has a price, or technically a product can have many prices. I have one price now, but you can add another price for this product called my Euro product has this one price. So now that I have a price, I can make my payment link. So again, the best thing I think to do until you know where it is, is just search for payment links and click on it. Okay, and I'm confirming we are in test mode. So I'm toggled over to test mode. So I'm gonna make a test payment link because this is toggled to the right. Okay, yep, <laughs> no, it's not toggled to the right. I'm gonna retoggle it and I'm gonna click new. So um, find the product you want to make the link for. So I called it Euro, my Euro product. And here it is. And you can see a little, um, a little, 
visual on the right of a preview, um, one thing I really like to do is there's another product called Stripe Customer Portal, which allows your customers to easily upgrade or downgrade and manage their own subscriptions. I like to save the payment details for future use, which just makes it easier if they want to upgrade or downgrade. And then just click Create Link. Okay, so Stripe will make this very simple link. Instead of creating a lot, like a lot of code or having to write code or hire a software developer, you can just create this link. Okay, and now it's created. And all you do is copy it to the clipboard. Whoops. So now I've copied this to the clipboard, and I'm going to go back to the Wix website. Uh, let's go to the editor. Okay. And let's create a button. Okay, so just click on button. So I'm just going to drag in this button. Okay, and I'm going to change the text to say buy now. Okay, and all I'm going to do is click on that buy now button and click the link and choose web address and just paste in that Stripe payment link and we're done. And just to show you some other examples, I'm going to do it also with an image and with text, and it's just very similar. So I'm going to click on image, and I uploaded an image of, whoops, where is that, of ideal. Okay, so I made it a little bit smaller. You can adjust the size you want to your liking. And just click on it, and you just do something very similar. Click on link. Choose web address and paste in your Stripe payment link URL. And as one final example, I'm just going to add text. So add text, and let's choose this paragraph. So we're going to say, it's easy to pay with Ideal on a Wix website. And I'm going to click on that and just hyperlink it. And again, choose web address and link it. Okay. There we go, and I'm going to publish the site. Okay, and now we have our Buy Now button and this ideal image and a little bit of text. So if I click Buy Now, uh, Stripe Checkout opens up and your customer can pay with credit card or ideal. Okay, so how do you make an ideal only payment link? Well, for that, since Stripe, uh, in your standard Stripe account, you can't turn off credit cards as a payment method. You can use our app to do fancy stuff like this. We have a login system if your customers need to log in and use customer portal to manage their subscription, like to upgrade or downgrade or cancel. Or if you have members only content or you'd want to do fancy things like making an ideal only payment link, let me show you how to do that. So in our app, um, click on set up checklist and site. Okay, and just let us know which platform you're using. And if you're using Wix, choose Wix and save. And then connect your Stripe account. Click Connect to Stripe, and you'll connect your Stripe account to our app. And then click Add Payment Buttons. So in the past, we were able to make Stripe a checkout code for you. But since Stripe checkout code doesn't work on Wix websites, uh, and now that Stripe has released payment links, you can just create a payment link by clicking on Payment Link. OK, and what we do is we pull in all of your Stripe pricing. So you decide which pricing you want to make a payment link for. And so we have that test product, my, my European product right there, which is 100 euros. And I'll say my, so we'll say my payment link with ideal, and then just go to advanced options. And so you can turn off credit card if you want. If you have another payment method using our app, we allow that. So just click ideal or whichever payment method you like, and then click create link. So we will create this payment link for you. It's already done in your Stripe account, so it will exist in your Stripe account, but it will work with our app. And uh, you can just view that live, and that will take you to the live Stripe checkout payment link. And here you can see it only allows Ideal and not any alternative payment methods. Uh, you cannot even take credit cards. This would be if you just want to make an Ideal only link. And so the way to do that is just to copy this URL. It also exists in your Stripe account, but we give it to you right here and go into your Wix website. And I'm just going to add text. OK, and so the text just says, it's easy to pay with Ideal. And I'm going to link that to this new Stripe payment link that we made within Paid Members app. OK, and I'm going to choose Web Address and Done. And 
means I'm going to publish the website. Okay, and now we added a link using paid members app. That's ideal only, so credit card's not an option. It's just ideal. You can't do this with your simple standard Stripe account. You can do this with paid members app. Click on this, this will open up Stripe checkout. And here we have only ideal as a payment method. This is if you just didn't want to take anything but ideal. Okay, and that is how you use Stripe payment links to take ideal payments on your Wix website.